Well, hello, welcome to DIY Design by CCW, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Well, today I'm doing an easy thrift makeover project for you. I have these two thrifted cylinders. They were pieces that I had in my stash, and I'm gonna be using this ribbon. Now, there's not, I'm not gonna be doing any painting today. So typically, if you follow my channel, you know that I love to paint glass. But today, I'm doing a little decoupage for you. Now, I have uh, some crystals I'm gonna work with and some other fabric trims, and then I'm just gonna jump right into the DIY. Now, just as I would if I were gonna paint these pieces, the first thing I'm gonna do is clean the pieces with alcohol. That way, whatever I do will adhere a little better. Now, this uh, ribbon is some leftover ribbon I purchased during the holidays. There you see I'm just trimming away the damaged part of the ribbon, and then I'm gonna cut a piece to size to fit my piece, uh, to fit my base, rather. And then once I do that, you'll see here in a second or two that I'm going to use some blue painter's tape to just kind of mark uh, where I want or where the ribbon is going to hit on the piece. Now, you certainly don't have to do this, but the reason I'm doing it, it kind of helps me keep the spray that I'm going to be using, the Mod Podge spray, off of the top of the glass. I'd like that part to stay as clear and as clean as possible. Now, uh, after putting on the gloves, I, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. Now this Mod Podge Gloss Ultra Spray On, it's an all-in-one glue and sealer. It's multi-surface. I've been using it for everything. I've been using it to lock in like my crushed glass, it, you know, my glitter projects, it's great for that as well. And I've also found that it's fantastic for decoupage. For me, it works even better than the decoupage cream um, uh, formula that you can buy uh, from Mod Podge. So then once uh, you spray it on, basically here I'm just going to lock that ribbon into place, kind of press it down into the sealer, and uh, I'll also tack the edge with a little bit of my E6000 glue, then I'll set the piece aside, let it dry, then I'll come back and move on to the next part of the DIY. All right, so for this next part of the DIY, um, I let the ribbon dry. Now, typically you wanna let the ribbon dry for about four hours, but in order for me to finish this project, I let it dry for about an hour, but it was still dry enough for me to work with. Now for the next step, I'm gonna add just a little more touch uh, of uh, decoration to the piece. Now I've decided to go with this faux uh, leather, uh, leather look sort of uh, fabric trim. I have a ton of it uh, left over in my stash and I think it is just the right color gold to accent the edge uh, of the piece. Now, um, just so you know, when I'm doing this sort of work, I will typically add some sort of fabric trim or something around the edge uh, because later on, I'm also going to create a lid or lids for these pieces. And that, if I place that trim just right, it does sort of help hold the lid in place. So again, this faux uh, fabric trim, or it's not even fabric trim, I, maybe it is, uh, but this faux leather trim is really inexpensive. It's a couple of bucks um, and you can buy it at Joann Fabrics. And I think you get about eight yards and I've used it quite a bit and uh, I've used it in several projects. Now, this uh, trim is also from gun, uh, from uh, Joann Fabrics. It's called Gunmetal, uh, but it is a plastic trim. I've done lots of DIYs with this trim, and I had some left over, and I thought it would make the perfect accent 
for the front of my pieces. So basically there you see I'm just kind of cleaning up this trim because the one thing about it, when you cut it, uh, it does have like little strips of, of string uh, that kind of poke out on the sides. So if you're gonna use it in this type of application, you're gonna want to trim it. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my E6000 Quick Hold Glue to uh, glue this trim to the piece, and then I'll move on to the next part of the DIY. All right, so now that the trim is in place, I'm just gonna use some of these leftover uh, gems that I had from another project, and I'm gonna use a little bit more of the E6000 Quick Hold and glue the gem into place, and then I'll move on to the next part of the DIY. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to the lids uh, while the pieces are drying. Now for the second piece or the taller of the pieces, I didn't actually film that one because the process was exactly the same. Um, but the lids, I'm gonna make uh, do something a little bit different. So for each of the lids, I'm using these five inch uh, mirrors and what I'm doing here is just gluing the mirrors together. And the reason I'm doing that is I want the mirror to be a little bit thicker, but not thick enough where I have to add, um, you know, anything in the middle. Um, if you follow my channel, you may have seen me use things like cake boards and things like that in the middle when I'm making these lids to get the right thickness. But today, I'm just gonna work with the two mirrors. So the first thing I'll do is use some of this two millimeter closed chain wrap. Um, now again, I'll leave a link or at least the name of everything that I'm using down in my description box so that you can find it. Uh, but most everything I'm using comes from Joanne Fabrics, except for a couple of things. So again, once I get the, um, the uh, closed chain wrap to the right size, I'll cut it and then glue it on to the side uh, of the mirror. And here you just want to be careful about the glue. Try not to put too much on. You just want to put enough on uh, to get a good hold, but you don't want, um, you know, the mirror to be too messy or you don't want the edge to be too messy. And um, that's pretty much it. Now again, the E6000 glue does glue uh, does dry clear, so uh, that's good, but you can still see the residue if you don't get the glue on properly. Now again, once I do this, uh, I'll move on to the next part of this DIY.
right guys really quick before I finish the lid one of my wonderful channel members asked that I show this this is an old lid that I don't use anymore now you'll see that I have placed these little cork stoppers on the bottom of the lid now if you ever have a lid that just won't stay put and you want to keep it from slipping off the piece these cork stoppers do work sometimes I will also use crystal gems but these uh, cork stoppers uh, they're really cheap I buy them usually from Joanne fabrics and I find that they work really well place them strategically on the bottom of the lid and it will keep your lid from sliding off now for this particular lid I'm gonna use a regular e6000 to glue on the knob uh, just placing a little bit I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to you know uh, kind of spread out and, and ruin uh, the mirror and then I'm gonna glue on my crystals now again I'm gonna use the regular e6000 to glue on this the crystals for the most part it dries completely clear um, now in a certain light you might be able to see the glue but very rarely I mean it just depends on how the light is hitting the piece for the most part uh, this glue will dry completely clear and uh, give you a beautiful look and you don't have to worry about the gems coming off all right now once I do this guys it'll be time for the final reveal like I said quick and easy DIY Alright, this is the finished look. This is how the set turned out. You know what? I think I like it, but please let me know what you think. I'd love to hear down in the uh, comments. Now, there's a closer look at the lids, which is probably my favorite part. I really like the way the crystals uh, look on the mirrors and on the lids. I also like the way the front of the pieces look. Um, and again, I made these pieces with scraps of things that were left over and some thrifted pieces, except for those crystals. I think um, uh, most everything I had. In fact, I had the crystals as well. Now here I'm just showing you some similar pieces that I made in some earlier DIYs. I believe there are about maybe four or five different DIYs here. I've made a lot of these little gold sets, but I'll make sure to link them down in the description box. So again, guys, that's all I have for you today. A short little DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're if you don't subscribe, I hope that you'll do that today. Please go and visit my other channels if you will. I've left links to those channels down in the description box. And uh, again, I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day or night. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.